Bringing in data into Power BI is really very simple and straightforward. Remember, it is what it is and what you see is what you get. So now that I have my Superstore data on an Excel file and I want to import that Excel file into this, my Power BI file that I'm currently working with, you will see that I already see a button here that says Excel workbook. I have another button here that says import data from Excel. I could use any of those two options to bring in data. But I want to show you the other sources of data that we have that you can connect to to fetch data for Power BI. So when I click on the drop down for this get data, you are going to see first a list of the common data sources with Excel being number one. But you can also click on more to see an expansive list of the other sources that we have. So here you can see a list of all the sources. Now you can use these categories to quickly reduce the number of things that you are seeing. So if I click on the file category, for example, I'm going to see sources that have to do with file systems. Here you can see that you can connect to an Excel workbook, you can connect to JSON files, you can connect to PDF, you can connect to a folder, you can connect to SharePoint folder as well. If you go to the database category, you will see a list of different databases you can connect to, including Microsoft SQL Server, including Access Database, including SSAS, Oracle Database, IBM, MySQL, Postgres, Sybase, and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to return back to the file so that I can click on Excel workbook and click connect. Now, if I wanted to be lazy, I don't have to click on Excel workbook, then come to click on connect. I'll simply just double click on this Excel workbook here. So because we are dealing with a file system now, then I need to be able to navigate within my computer to locate the file that I want to work with. Imagine if you are connecting to a database. Let's say you want to connect to SQL server, for example. You would expect that the moment you select that you are connecting to a SQL server, then you are going to need to provide the details of the server and the database that you are connecting to, including your username and password for getting access into that database. But again, we are only connecting to a file here. So I'm going to have to navigate to select this Superstore data. I can click open. And obviously, instead of clicking and then coming to click open, I can always double click. I like to be lazy. So the next dialog box that comes to you for every single source you are connected to is going to be this navigator window. Now what this window is all about is to display for you the content of the source you have chosen. My source currently is an Excel workbook called Superstore Data, which you will see right here. And then I'm supposed to see the content of that Excel workbook. So right now, this workbook currently has just a single worksheet called the orders worksheet and that's what you get to see here if i click on the name of this orders worksheet i'm going to see a preview of what the data looks like but remember this is only a preview so if things don't look right here don't bother about it but for me to be able to connect and bring in this data into power bi i'm going to have to tick the box for orders to choose what I want. So just in case I have more than a single worksheet within the Excel file, I have to tick on each worksheet that I intend to bring into Power BI. But in this case, there is only one and I've ticked that option. The next thing I want to do is to select any of these options. And I'm sure you know which one I'm not going to select. I obviously will not select cancel because I want to proceed. So if I ask you between load and transform, which one do you think I'm going to go with? Sorry, you are wrong because you think I should go with load, right? So if you thought I should go with transform data, then you have chosen the correct option. So take this as your first rule of working inside Power BI. Whenever you want to connect to any data set, the first thing you want to try to do is to transform the data rather than to click load. And you are going to see why we have to use transform data very soon. So I'm going to click on transform data. And this is going to give me a different window entirely. Now, this window that you see is called the Power Query Editor. Remember Power Query. 
that's the one in charge of everything that has to do with bringing in data into power bi that's the one that uses the m language to process your getting data and your data transformation now it's possible that when your power query windows open up your power query window might not be maximized so in case you have something that looks like this that means your power query window is not maximized so for you to see exactly what i'm seeing just make sure that you maximize your power query window so when your power query window is maximized this way you will be able to see all the buttons clearly and you can also read what the buttons are meant for so my data is now in power query the next thing i want to do is to find out if i have the need to carry out any transformation on this data